Hi now and welcome to Soft Expert. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a personal portfolio website for a software house or a web agency where you can display your portfolio, your services, and people can contact you and can learn more about you by visiting your website. And we will be creating this website using WorldFace absolutely for free. So you will need to have a domain name and hosting and the rest of the resources like theme and plugins are free. And I'll show you step by step that how you can get a demo data and then how you can customize their data using Elementor just by drag and drop without any coding. And before creating the website, let me show you a quick demo of the website that we will be creating in this video. And this is the website that we will be creating in this video. You can display your logo here. This is the navigation menu. And then we have a sidebar menu also where you can display images, text and social icons. And if you don't need this, you can disable this. And for the home page, we have this hero section which is very minimal and modern. You can see we just have a heading with a subtitle here. Then we have our services and you can link this to a specific page. And you can also see read more buttons. Then this is portfolio so you can see very nice and clean design. Again this is linked to this single portfolio page and also it have this call to action. This is another portfolio item, another one and so on. And then we have this section where you can display about yourself or about your website. Then we have our client section where we can display our clients or their logos. Then a get in touch section where you can start a project. This is linked to your services page and this is contact us. So this is linked to your contact page. You can also link this to a specific email if you want to. And then we have a footer. Again, you can customize this. You can display your logo, your text, your locations, your contact info and so on. And then we have this about page. Which is also very minimal in design. We just have a heading. And then you can display your team members again a section about you then we have a testimonial slider where you can display your clients feedback and again footer then portfolio page so again we have that same portfolio on this page where you can display multiple items and let me show you one of them so let's open this and this is how a single portfolio page will look where you can display your images in high quality and you can also display your portfolio details, client, category, tags and date. And this will be linked to another portfolio item. As you can see here, this is another look where you can display your images on the side and your info on the right side. And then we have a services page. So again, a heading and this section. And you can display your services here. And we have these accordion also and our clients and in the last we have this contact page where we have this title a contact form very modern in design and then contact info and let me tell you that you can customize this website just by drag and drop you can remove the unwanted objects or the unwanted sections and this is not yet this themes comes up with lots of demos let me show you you can see here all of these are mostly free so you can use this theme for a dentist website, wedding website, creative website and so on. And you can import the demo that you need and you can customize that using Elementor for free. And you can also filter these with these categories, with these colors and so on. So all in all this is a very popular theme. I have explored this in my previous video here in which I have explored a few demos of this theme. Now let's see how we can create this website. And for creating any type of website, there is a personal website, a business website, e-commerce website. You will need to have a domain name and hosting. And domain name is basically your website name or URL from which user can access your website. And hosting is your online storage where website files will be stored where you can install SSL, you can set up domains, databases and so on. And there are multiple platforms available that will provide you domain and hosting. The one I would suggest is hostinger.com. Just follow this link in the description which will take you to this page and you will get a discount hosting from Hostinger. Here you can go to hosting and choose WordPress hosting. And this will take you to this page where you can scroll down and here you can see the plans. So this is very affordable and very easy to customize hosting. And uh, you can learn more about each of these plans here. As you can see, you can host one website, you will get this amount of storage and free domain is not included and so on. I recommend you to use any of these plans where you will also get a free domain and unlimited free SSL. So just add this to cart 
and this will take you to card page where you can buy this hosting for 1 month, 12 months, 24 or 48 so the more time you will choose the more discount you will get now the regular price here is 432 but if you go to the link in the description you will get a huge discount and you will get this hosting for just 143 for 4 years so just create an account here you just sign up using facebook or google and then buy this hosting and once you get this hosting then you can install wolfis and after installing wolfis you will get a dashboard like this now you can see this is a clean dashboard where we don't have any plugins installed we don't have any themes now let's see how we can get that theme and then how we can upload that to our wolfis so to download the theme for free you can again go to the second link in the description that will take you to this page and here you can go to QI theme and here you can click on get the free version or you can click this try for free and this will download the theme for you like this now you can upload this to your warface so to upload this again let's go to our warface dashboard here we will go to appearance themes we'll click add new upload theme and we'll choose file let me just drag this we'll click install now and then we'll activate it and after activating it you will see this message install this plugin so let's click on install and this is the plugin that we will be using for importing demo content and for running this theme and install and activate it now this will refresh this page and will take you to your dashboard where you can learn more about this theme and now if I visit this website in a new tab and here we have nothing special because we haven't imported the demo content and this is just a head world first so let's go back to our dashboard and let's go to first first just to delete that and we will trash this and now let's see how we can get this whole data this whole website so for that you can go to your dashboard and then under code essential add-ons we will go to import and here you will find all those 150 demos that you can import with one click and you can preview any of these then you can import them based on your needs let's switch to free here and let's try finding the demo that i showed you so let's scroll down and this is the one that I showed you, a web agency. So you can import this by one click. I'll go there and I click on import. And now this will take you to this page where you can install these plugins. And then you will be able to import demo content because these are the required plugins. Now I already have Elementor and Contact Form 7. So I'll just install these. And now let's activate all of these. And that's it now we can go to import type and here you can choose to import all demo content only content only widgets or only options so i'll recommend you to choose all and you can also enable this to import the images and attachments so let's click on import demo then we'll click ok and now this will start importing demo content and this will be dependent on your hosting speed and your internet speed so let's wait for this and now you can see import is completed so now if i visit the same website and this was the previous and now if i refresh this here you can see we get all the data like the logo navigation with all the pages and the home page with the portfolio items and so on so this is how you can import the demo content and now let me quickly show you that how you can customize this website based on your needs so for that let's go back to our dashboard and now you can go to pages and here you can manage the main pages like about contact home page and so on and you can also add new pages you can also remove the pages that you don't need now let's say i want to make changes to the home page so i'll go to home page and i'll click on edit with elementor i open this in a new tab so let's go there we need to reactivate the kit and this will take you to elementor where you can click on reactivate kit let's also sync these and then we'll save changes let's go back and let's refresh this to get elementor page builder 
and now we can customize this website so this is the navigator where you can navigate to any section like this or you can just close this and you can scroll throughout the page let's say i want to change this title so i'll click this and you can see we are in award winning london based creative graphics agency so here you can change this text like you can write your own text and here you can also change this subtitle and if you want to add some description here you can write that over here like this and then to make changes to the colors the style you can go to style tab and here you can change the text color the text typography like the font family the font sizes and so on and you can do the setting for this title the subtitle the spacing button style and so on let's quickly remove this and in the same way you can make changes to this if i click this then here we can change this icon like this is a pencil icon we can change this so just click on this and you can use any of these icons let's close this one now to make changes to text you can go to content and here you can make changes to title and this is the description so you can make changes to this also and to make changes to this link or this read more you can go to button and here you can change the text like you can change this to learn more and you can paste your link here so you can link this to a specific page and in the same way you can make changes to these items so you can click on this and here you can change the text you can click on this you can change this text and so on and now to make changes to a portfolio item you can also find this in the dashboard where you can see portfolio and here you will see all the portfolio items that you can edit and you can give it a title you can change the description and you can scroll down and you can do more settings for this you can upload your media like this here you can add your own images you can remove these images and so on this is the layout so number of columns space between and so on and to view these items you can go to your live website and you can go to portfolio so these are the portfolio items that you can make changes to and in the same way you can add a new portfolio item by clicking add new or you can edit any of these you can delete all of these and so on and what else now to learn more about elementor page builder you can visit my channel i have lots of videos about elementor where you can learn about elementor and elementor customization and uh, to make changes to the header and footer you can go to customize so go to live website and here you will see customize just click on that if you don't see this option you can go to your dashboard and under appearance you will see customize just click on that this will take you to this same page now you can go to site identity and here you can upload your logo you can change your website title your tagline and your icon which is this world face icon so let me quickly upload a logo just to show you i'll use this logo so let's upload this and just drag a file here then select if you want you can crop this or you can skip cropping and this will change this logo but why this is not changing and why not this one is because these are built with elementor which i'll show you now so let's just publish this and every time you make changes in the customization you can just publish the changes let's go back to our dashboard and here you can go to code essential add-ons and click on options and here you can manage your theme like your journal style logos fonts typography header and so on and uh, this is the background image page background and so on the one that we need is logo so let's click on that and here you will see the logo just upload a new one so we will select that logo and we'll save changes now let's go to our website and let's refresh this you can see we got that logo and not in the footer because this is linked to the widget area again you can find that in the customization and under widgets so this is footer column one let's scroll down and you can also see the logo here just click on that 
now you can see this is an image and this is the image URL so to get the URL you can go to your dashboard and uh, you can go to media library then click on the logo that you want to display there so I'll copy its link copy URL to clipboard let's go back to customize and I'll select this and we'll paste that link now you can see the logo has been changed in the same way you can change this text so you can write your own text you can change the contact info and you can also change this text and this and you can also change this text you can remove the theme name so I'll write something like small text and also we will change this to 2023 so this is how you can customize the header and a footer and you can customize the rest of the pages using Elementor and you can customize this theme based on your need so this is how you can create a complete functional website for your website agency or for your software house. You can also use this for your personal portfolio if you want to. And to learn more about Wordpress, Elementor and WooCommerce, you can visit my channel. I have lots of videos about Wordpress. And still, if you have any questions about this video, you can ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next.